Greetings everyone, All Classic Gamer here, and uh, I wanted to make this video because I seen this uh, brand new uh, tweet from uh, Nintendo, and I can't help a feeling that they, they keep getting a free pass for terrible marketing uh, uh, tactics. Like, uh, here is the thing what I've seen, like, uh, they now announced that uh, more titles will be added to NES and SNES Nintendo Switch Online collection and uh, they want they decided to include Donkey Kong Country 1 not all games just the first one but um, and some more stuff but um, I'm just uh, giving Donkey Kong Country as an example because uh, a lot of people wanted to play this on, on Nintendo Switch and uh, I don't know, they just give now this one game and you can see how many likes this is getting. We can scroll for the comments and uh, we're just uh, we're just seeing uh, like like positive responses like thank you. Finally, uh, like the people are just celebrating uh, the fact that uh, they decided to add the first game and now this person is begging for uh, uh, second and the third game as well and um, yeah more more like screenshots uh, gifts from the game and some memes but overall what we can see here universally is uh, praise for this action for adding uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 on a uh, Nintendo Switch online program uh, and uh, people are just uh, buying into it and the uh, acting like this is the best thing uh, they ever done well I wanna say my honest opinion about this and in my opinion this is a horrible tactic this is uh, well, 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 well it is proving for them to be uh, profitable because the responses are are positive but um, the thing is uh, this shouldn't be like this like uh, why are people buying into it? And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explain what I mean. This like Nintendo Switch Online thing and these NES and SNES classics. Uh, this requires internet connection non-stop and uh, like it requires you to have a Nintendo Switch Online uh, subscription basically. And um, let me tell you. This online is freaking horrible. They they are just still using peer to peer connection. They don't have any dedicated servers. It's it's just not justified that you're you're going to pay um, any sort of fee for this online and they're trying to justify by offering classic NES and SNES games like oh, you subscribe to our online subscription service and you're gonna get some games that we select for you that you can play online basically and uh, I don't know but this is just so so stupid and let me say why because Donkey Kong Country was released already f first on um, on Wii when it comes to all the digital releases like uh, Virtual Console on Nintendo Wii uh, was the first uh, one that released uh, this game and the people had to buy it uh, then and then not only that but uh, if you wanted to get this on uh, Wii U you had to buy it again you, you you didn't have like there was some service for like uh, cross um, buying uh, like it wasn't a cross buying but it was like a transfer uh, like if you you could transfer virtual console games uh, from V onto Wii U but uh, here was the here was the catch you were then only able to play them in a, a virtual V mode you couldn't uh, play it uh, from a, a like Wii U gamepad and stuff like that you had to play it from virtual V mode and you had to use V modes or classic controllers so it was still like a double emulation what the hell and um, if you wanted to have the authentic experience on Wii U you you had to buy it again on eShop now the thing is, I can understand that the virtual console and the account system on Wii and Wii U is different 
and that, that's okay, but the thing is, they should have made that uh, you could transfer uh, the games from uh, a V onto Wii U by using uh, like a um, sort of transfer mechanism, but that you get the Wii U version of the games which are compatible with each of like there was supposed, in my opinion, the only morally justified thing to do for the buyers who already bought Donkey Kong Country on uh, Wii was uh, to to allow uh, to allow them to like you, you type the friend code stuff and you can transfer all the games that are released uh, on Wii U. You could get Wii U versions of them for free on your brand new Nintendo Network account and you could download from eShop. That is the only morally correct thing to do. But okay, you can forgive it one time. But now, you, you, you bought all those games on, on Wii U, uh, like Donkey Kong Country and any other Super Nintendo or uh, Nintendo game uh, out there. And now, no, you can't play them on Switch. You have to wait again for them to add the game as a part of Nintendo Switch Online collection. This is, uh, in my opinion, the biggest insult to people who already bought the game twice. Now, I didn't do it. I, 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 don't, I, I don't prefer these uh, virtual console stuff. Like, in um, my opinion, the, the original cartridges are the best way, but... Uh, if you if you can't buy them like because they're maybe getting expensive or you just can't find them on sale and you want to pay for shipping from uh, from some other country um uh, i think the that if you if you already have them like uh, why would anyone wait for this nintendo switch online like uh, if you have a hacked nintendo switch like with custom firmware you can emulate it and like you can have a, a like a digital ROM files for any game you want like uh, but now the, the people who don't have it hacked they're just relying on this online system like you're paying for a shitty online uh, at least if you pay for uh, Xbox Live you're getting a dedicated servers and uh, not this peer-to-peer uh, -peer connection crap uh, uh, I still don't approve that. I think the Steam is the best way because they don't charge anything for online, but uh, at least with the Xbox Live you can get, like if you Xbox Live Gold or PlayStation Plus, you can get a free games that you can keep on your account. You're not um, bound to this uh, online thing and um, if you bought the game on, on PlayStation 4 like PlayStation Plus, it's gonna work on PlayStation 5. So, uh, I, I don't understand why is Nintendo getting a free pass for all this? Why? Uh, just because they're Nintendo and because they have a good games, people are gonna forgive them these uh, shitty tactics and just let it slide because, oh, uh, it, it's, it's a good game, I can't wait to play this on Nintendo Switch. I don't know. Fuck this shit, I don't approve it, it's it just... Uh, Stealing money from customers a uh, uh, third time and let me make one thing clear Nintendo is one of the most vocal Anti-ROM companies out there like they're gonna they're gonna trash on emulation ROMs But they themselves use the emulation especially when you were downloading games on a Wii U and um, one thing uh, You still can't play for example N64 games like Super Mario 64 you can't uh, purchase on a on a Nintendo switch and play it uh, and download like uh, like a ROM officially virtual console or stuff and play it you have the the, la the latest console to play it legally is Wii U and uh, I don't know this is just uh, not right in my opinion and like uh, Donkey Kong Country should have been available day one to be bought uh, like on your account like to, uh, if, and if you already bought it on Wii U to have it to download for free but no Nintendo is always getting a free pass and they're always gonna continue getting and people are always gonna just uh, blindly agree on everything and we are never gonna see an improvement companies are gonna keep getting uh, these uh, shitty practices also in some cases microtransactions paid online because the people are not vocal and that pisses me off I can complain how much I want but I'm not gonna change anything myself because 
you have tons of people who are just gonna buy into it and who are not gonna who are gonna pretend like everything is okay and uh, I don't like that I really hope one day people are gonna open their eyes and see how how shitty of the practice this is and uh, hope they're gonna demand some changes like People don't deserve to be treated like this, especially if they already bought the game on Wii U or even original Wii. I don't like this and it has to change.